All right, this video is going to help figure out how to write a paragraph to a short constructed response question, an SCR question. You're going to see a lot of these this year. You'll see a lot of them on assessments as well. We're going to do what's called a PEA paragraph, a point evidence analysis. This is a little bit different than what you're used to doing, but it kind of builds off of what you have been doing in the last couple of years. So the P is the point. What is your opinion? What is your answer? The point is going to be your topic sentence. E stands for evidence. What can you find to support your opinion, your answer? The evidence comes from the text. It comes from the book that we're reading, or the article that we're looking at, or the website that we're studying, but the evidence is concrete. It's something we can point to and say, here it is. The analysis comes from our brain. This is the hard part. How does the evidence support the point? you must explain the connection. The quote itself doesn't prove the point. You need to show why did you choose that evidence. In general, the analysis should be twice as long as the quote. It takes several sentences to go through your thinking and explain why you chose what you did. Here's an example. The prompt is, would prison or circle justice be more effective for coal? Notice how it's color coded. We'll get to the color codes in a minute. Circle justice would prove much more effective for Cole than sending him to jail would. That's my topic sentence. Clean to the point, answering the question. Cole has spent years getting in trouble, but not dealing with his anger. As it says on page 11, Garvey is explaining to Cole that circle justice tries to heal, not punish. Notice my quotation marks. Notice I say it's on page 11. I say who was speaking, Garvey is explaining, making sure that I'm giving the reader of this paragraph information to understand the background. The next part in green is my analysis. This is the part that comes from my brain. This is the hard part. Now I make the connection. Garvey recognizes that punishing Cole for what he has done will not help him in the long run. After the punishment is up, Cole will still be angry and perhaps even more violent. But with circle justice, Cole will hopefully get the help he needs to heal and change his life for the better. So that explains why I chose the quote, circle justice tries to heal, not punish. The analysis connects the quote to the point that circle justice will be more effective. Now I transition to another quote. One quote will not be enough. Garvey spends a lot of time with Cole trying to get him to acknowledge his pain. On page 28, Garvey opens up and shares that he and Cole have more in common than Cole realizes. When Cole is talking about his father beating him, Garvey states, I do know what it's like. Is it your dad who hits you? Notice the quotation marks. Notice the question mark inside the quotation marks. Again, I give the page and I give the speaker. Garvey opens up. Now my analysis, why did I choose this quote? By admitting this, Garvey is now showing how much he knows that Cole is hurting. This is further evidence that what Cole needs to heal is to heal and not be punished. Garvey staying on him like this is setting Cole up for a new experience. Notice I have three sentences in my analysis. And now my closing. Notice how my last sentence is in red again. I'm restating my point, not in the exact same words, but I'm summarizing what all of my information has led up to. Because of all of this, it makes much more sense for Cole to get the help he needs through circle justice as compared to struggling in a jail cell, only getting more and more angry. Notice I reinforce the help through circle justice and I emphasize that jail will make him more and more angry. Down below, you see the color codes again. Red is for the point. You simply answer the question. E is the evidence. Evidence comes from the book, quotes from the book to help prove my point. And green is the analysis. That's what most of the paragraph is. My interpretation of the quote and the connection to the point. How does the quote prove my point? So you're hopefully gonna be getting much better at this as the year progresses. We will be doing many PEAs throughout the course of the novels that we're reading.